Well, he was unfortunately out of the last one uh, late in that uh, race as well. We've got a gap there with that number four position being left uh, vacant. And uh, we've lost a couple of others along the way as well. But we come to the big one to fight it out. Wait for the lights to go on before they go off. They've now gone on. That's where you can hear the revs go up as we wait for them to go off. We're away off the line. Look at that. Luke and Ernie. Luke and Ernie. Start here from the outside. The wheelie control trying to get it laid down. Can he uh, still match it when he gets to uh, Cormac going into the top end? Will he be able to uh, run with him? And he's trying to get a streak around on the outside. So uh, all looking good out there. Yeah, yeah Corn Buchanan just does a one wonderful job holding that inside line so he will take charge of the New Zealand Grand Prix Luca Durning like you touched on great start from Luca there's Rogan Chandler already trying to argue into pothole up the inside of Luca so the Rogan Chandler's come to play here as well he knows that once uh, Cormac got onto that groove got that little lead in race number two for the weekend he was impossible to shake down so here it is uh, Corn Buchanan Rogan Chandler they've had some electrical battles so far this season we're going to be on here we've got Jesse Stroud a good start from him he's in fourth place on the borrowed bike this weekend the Helicraft Racing Morgan McLarenwood, uh, he continues to excite us as well, but uh, I'll tell you what, uh, battle for the leads on, Neil, we've got uh, all on for the podium, and uh, our points leader heading into this race for the weekend is Luca Durning ahead of Morgan McLarenwood, so these youngsters uh, certainly exciting us, uh, New Zealand Grand Prix racing doesn't get to be in this. Well it is, is indeed, in fact with all the drama on the track and off the track, that's why we've got a few different names that are starting to appear, and as you've rightfully pointed out, six different riders that we've talked to over the uh, weekend, that is fabulous, that's what I love, in fact if I had my way we'd have a different person on the podium all day and made the best work out on average. I love to see new people coming up there. It's great to see. Yeah, you know you, when you've got a champion, you want to see a champion, you want to see them shine and go to the top, and that's what hopefully takes them on an international path, but here in New Zealand, when we start to see some real depth, it is great to see, and particularly now, this is a class that's got both A, quantity and quality, so we put the two of them together. We've got some good numbers in our 600 racing, so let's go with the patch as we uh, check out Cormac in the uh, full-fledging run, then looking out to uh, uh, Rogan. Then we go back to the uh, run for uh, Jesse. Jesse up there for third place on the that uh, KMD supported Helicraft uh, Joe's Garage. Shout out to Joe's Garage and all of their great support uh, as the Helicraft team go flying at the moment with that KMD uh, Kawasaki ZXR 600. So great work from Jesse. What will he have learnt from that uh, last uh, race when he hit the crash when he was going a little bit too hot with the front wheel on a bike that he wasn't quite as used to, which I think may have been the mismatch. And I can see him if he can just know his uh, limit. We should see much better from him and hopefully for him to be on the podium at the end of the day. But I tell you what, Cormac's gone for it. He said this in the last race and that's what he wanted to prove and he's going to do it again and now it's Rogan that's got to run with him at the moment and can we see Rogan try and uh, come up on the inside and pull up something we'll have to find out but Rogan's uh, uh, got a whole challenge there in that second place but it's the Cormac Buchanan show Brad Ritchie that's come to town. As he was so 17th of a second that was the lead when they crossed the line I think he may have just stretched out a little bit further we'll have to wait and see Rogan Chana desperate to hang on to the back wheel of the teenage sensation the Blue Crew uh, Eltham Window System Jamaha team have had some uh, excitement with our Hoogie and Grand Prix racing they want to carry on where they've left off. This is going to be good as our front two into the sign biz dipper. Jesse Stroud, good ride on the borrowed bike here this weekend. He's in third place in the New Zealand Grand Prix race, so he's loving that. Then we've got uh, Morgan McLarenwood, who's got ahead of his uh, good mate, Luca Durning. And man, they've been inseparable on this racetrack all weekend long, so we're in for another superstar showdown. As uh, Cormac Buchanan, Rogan Chan, let's have a look at the split times. Who was fast, who was not? We've got Cormac Buchanan, purple lap time, but only just, so it's uh, still only... Uh, 0 0.8, 0 0.9 of a second, the gap between the two. Rogan Chandler not giving up, Neil. Yeah, well, there we go. So you've got the pair out in front. We've got Ro Cormac, we've got Rogan. We know how good they are. They've proved it event after event after event. But then go to that next trio. Look at that for a muster. As they go around uh, Abbott's Insurance once again for another dynamic lap. There we are to 2, 3, 4, which is a fit. Sorry, sorry, to 3, 4, 5, which is effectively the 1, 2, and 3 in that bike battle as it goes on. Oh, we've got, got Jesse. We've got we got Rogan Chandler down at Pothole. So uh, big oh. bits of drama here. Uh, Cormac Buchanan's in the lead out of the hairpin. That's Rogan Chandler that's gone down uh, out of the pothole corner so uh, absolutely not what we wanted to see here and it's a red flag we have gone to a red flag situation so not what we wanted to see in the New Zealand 600 Supersport Grand Prix red flag situation uh, with uh, two laps gone 10 laps ago uh, we'll let you uh, know more about what's going on when we know more but right now we've gone to a red